G'day, welcome back to my Flycorp All Countries mode. Let's just uh, continue on. So, next up we've got Finland. Um, I suppose if our choices are either Berlin or Moscow, we'll probably go through Moscow. I think Helsinki is a little bit further south than I was expecting there. I don't know why I was expecting to be much higher than that, but we will make that a considerable plane. Because Helsinki could possibly be busy, I suppose. Alright, so now we're starting to get our Russian midpoints. And I don't know if possibly I should make that an actual like connection across. Although, since there's not going to be much in the way of um say Russian, well, or like say Russia is the top of the world here, so probably there's only going to be those small airports along there. So I think Kazakhstan is the next connection. Be the best way to go. Faro doesn't surprise me if it's getting busy. You, I don't know why you're busy, but we'll give you a plane upgrade just to settle a little bit. See that some of these are. I mean, definitely that should be a full level plane if Rome is, um, both Rome and Cairo aren't going full red both ways. We're all the way upgraded, I hope. Yep, good. Alright. Israel's up next. No issues with uh, making that maximum. We should probably upgrade Minsk maximum too, so I imagine that's why you're not happy, is that Minsk has a whole bunch of people coming for it. Where's Israel? Down here. Okay, so that can go through Cairo. We can see the cost of these, um, these places are becoming a bit more expensive. Moldova. Where is Moldova? Now I know there's a few, um, Minsk is really starting to push that. I mean that's as, that guy's full. So I wonder if possibly I should add a second plane to that. There's not many routes that have two planes. Uh, but eventually China's going to be on the other end of this too. Okay, cool, that's at that end now, so let's uh, maximize him. It is a pain that he does land. He does come out of there with only the 20 people on him he started with. Oh, I already had a second plane. I oh, know that's a villainous. This one. It's a shame because it means I've just added the second plane. He's only bringing 20 or 50 people across. I assume that these are all red, so Paris is also getting hit with... Oh no, they're still just... smashed with people wanting to go the other way. I feel like that's a danger there, that if you've got so many planes landing in, if you click on it... You've got a chance that you're going to just miss your actual click and just be clicking on planes. And with that five seconds, it does feel like it's a bit rough. I would appreciate a pause. I don't think that having a pause button in this game would make it... It would give you any sort of advantage. I mean, you could sort of just plan and build a bit more. But if you've got the money to spend, then you should be able to spend it. Moldova. Now, I know the, the Maldives are in this vicinity... Doesn't look like they appear on the map. There's another M name down there too. It's also not there. Another, another island, I think. I can't think of its name at the moment. Moldova is American. No, all right, I concede. Way off. Now really, the Ukraine is going to be its closest. Or well, Ukraine actually might not have its own capital. Uh, we'll send them through Turkey. How are we doing here? Berlin is still starting to buckle under the requirements of Minsk. See, to me, if I'm having to pay that anyway and he wants that much, I don't care, it's... Well, I mean, it depends on what they want me to then pay out if I if I do 
lose. Milwaukee. We'll just do a quick sweep to make sure that we do have all um, cities in the world. Axstand coming up next. It's an argument for Pakistan to have sort of its own major connection, but but India is um, right next to it, and I feel like that's the more important central central focus of that area and I think they're both I think Pakistan's also a top five population country and is significant in its own right see so it's it's gonna be all the way up near India so let's just buy India we'll make that connection we'll connect them through there and we will make that a significant route Any significance to my setup, so yeah, that's that's okay being blocked. Got to impact anyone else. And Nigeria, I will make a central city. I think some of these oh, it depends on whether the capital actually sits. I think yeah, it's a pretty good central point. So what we'll do is we'll connect that guy, and we'll connect that guy, and we'll connect that guy. Then what we'll do is we will make one, two, three, and uh, sorry, New Delhi, I probably should have considered that you'd be busy at Karachi. Sell that, sell that. Uh, and we'll go this one there too. We'll sell that. Okay, so what we will do is fill up the significance of these planes. Probably not as much as what they were because they're now slightly closer than they were too. But these ones we want to upgrade because these are significant routes. Now, do I have that set as a connection point? No, that's just connect connecting to Madrid. I don't know why I didn't have it connecting to Libya. That's fine, it's probably not a major city, so it's gonna happily do its thing. Alright, we'll upgrade it and we'll upgrade our plane to Mumbai. Might want a, a southern Indian capital too. Maybe be Chennai. I think it's down that way. And it was Chennai here or there? I think it's further south than I'm, I'm guessing there. Burkina Faso, that is one that I've, that country I'd probably never heard of before, but Blycorp has taught me about where it is. That is down here. Someone else just announced they've built a city. There we go, Chennai. It's a bit of a distance that you, they're traveling to Chennai. It's 
So yeah, I think I will make it a another southern Indian hub that Sri Lanka can also touch into. Make sure that's oh, that's not what I want to do. We want to make sure that goes maximum. Rakata. These are all pretty major cities. We will just make sure they can move between them nicely. I'm not sure if I've talked about going to India before, but I have been. Uh, we went from... We were, I visited Tibet. We went into Nepal for a day, and then from Nepal we went to, to Delhi. One quick fun, uh, interesting thing about Tibet was the only international flight you could take out of Tibet was to Nepal. And if you couldn't get that, you had to fly sort of almost like it was a one hour, two hour flight. Um, and if you didn't get that, if that got cancelled, you're flying over the Himalayas there. Uh, and if that got cancelled, then you would have to have like a 30 hour fly all the way around to get to it, which would have been absolute pain. And so definitely I stressed on that until we, we were on the plane. But it was also cool that you got to see... Um, Sort of looking at the Himalayas as you're going along through the clouds and you think, oh, any of these, um, I wonder if one of these is Mount Everest. And then suddenly, bang, like, you know, you're seeing Mount Everest because it is massive piercing through. And actually had, um, they announced on the, um, over the radio to say like, oh, just be aware it's there, but please, um, don't move from your seats. Because I guess there's a risk, they, they might have issues, I guess, where they potentially tip the plane because everyone suddenly surges to one side of the plane. All right, we'll up that guy and we'll work out who his issue is. This guy. Well, that's because we've only got a tiny little plane there, so let's solve that. This guy's still complaining, so let's give him a bigger plane too. Let's just make sure everyone else is happy. But yeah, so from there we went into, uh, into Nepal and then I went to Delhi. And we took a train from Delhi to um, Jai Samir out in the desert. Over, over this way, which I loved. I reckon of the of the few cities and few days that I've spent in uh, India, I reckon Jai Samir was my uh, favorite favorite location. We'll give India a second route because Tehran is struggling under the amount of uh, guys passing through that way because it is the new part of the world. Um, so I was over to Jai Samir, then down to Jodhpur for. A Revisit, or we went to the Tar Desert as well before then. Then a, a train overnight to Agra, see the Taj Mahal, and then to Delhi for a couple of days and then home. I tell you, Taj Mahal didn't blow me away as much as I was I was expecting it would, and the reason for that, I would say, is because only a few days later in uh, a few days earlier, rather, in Tibet, we got to see Patala Palace, um, the Tibetan home of the uh, Dalai Lama before he was exiled. Uh, if you want to see a gorgeous building, have a look up, have a look at the Patala Palace. P O T L, P O T O L A, Patala, Patala. Maybe that's P O T A L A. Maybe uh, it is stunning. And it's probably the most gorgeous building I've ever seen, and I definitely did not get sick of seeing it every time we were moving about in um in Lasha. All right, is this guy Max as well? Yep. Dangerous thing about doing something like having two planes on this route, while there's not two planes on the two routes on either side, is that um. It can, if, if there's people going one way more than any other, they're going to like just absolutely stack uh, stack one side of that and potentially cause risks of, of like a bottleneck on the other side. Now we currently have stupid money at this point with our 245,000, so we can start to, to look to open up a, a bit more, but we also want to have a look to see what we can do to, to make sure our system, network's not going to crumble. And again, it's, it's all of this route... Um, so on this one, I'd say we want to add a second plane. And while the guy's at the other end, let's do that to him. Now, it does mean we've only got one plane on this route too, so we'll oh, sell him. I didn't realize it was going to go that way. 
Okay, so they're now on opposite ends of that route. You have the money to sort of just try and update and upgrade a lot of these planes to super fast jets. Alright, Somali land. So we'll send you up this way. And that's a bit of a hike, so we'll give you a... We've got the money, let's give you a great jet. Skinny. Skinny. Let's just start to really try and expand. Greece. Can't imagine Greece would be too happy with me if I connected them through Turkey. So we will connect them to Rome. Rome's looking a little bit better now. It's still sort of that same. Well, it's, it's good. Now it's the top ones are all going to India, but I mean, we had Cairo up there a second ago. We do have a lot of stuff that's, that's still heading that way. Even now, two planes are stressing. It's interesting that that's our guy that's that everyone's heading to at the moment. I suppose it's what's making us make, make plenty of money. Travel question today. This is part of the world that I've never really explored. The Middle East. Uh, let's even expand that out to, to Iran. So the closest that I've been would be uh, Jaisalmer here in India. And no, I don't think I've even done a connecting flight through anywhere here. So I've heard that if you really, the, the nicest part of this is Oman. Um, and uh, Mus is it Musket? Mascot, Musket, the, the capital of Oman. Is, uh, is really nice to see. Do we have thoughts on this? What's our... Uh, is it just the rest of it? Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates is too sort of wealthy now that it's almost like there's there's no sort of, I don't know, that same feeling of culture that you might still get from, from Oman. But it's, it's a couple of different sources of, uh, have given the thumbs up to that, which is why I'm just curious to see what, what others think. Iraq. All right. We'll get that into Tehran. Sri Lanka. I suppose look, the quicker that we can sort of open these, and you can see these are costing like 67,000. We've now got 66 minutes till we, we need to open something else. So it does allow us to just sort of sit on our money for a while and just make sure that the rest of our network is still coping. Because at the moment it's not really. Um, I think Kazakhstan is the part we need. If we can get Kazakhstan in here so that we can get Moscow coming down and then coming into Delhi, that might relax things because that'll cause uh, more places to go via... Well, they won't have to come via uh, this sort of Iranian-Turkey route. Give us, give us a couple of options. But at the moment... Because we're starting to spend so much money on um, on our expansions, I don't want to keep opening countries that I currently don't have to open. Although, I mean, you can see that at this point, even if I had no time, I feel like I could get a... Um... Man, that's still it's like trending upward. These guys are all... Oh, is that an Indian city? Yeah. Okay. Is Lahore an Indian city or is that a Pakistani city? Well, I guess what I should do then is just add a third plane under this route. So it's definitely the point that, I mean, I realize that both Cairo and Ankara can come through to Tehran, which so it's why it is potentially getting more than it. Um, and what uh, India is taking off it. And I mean, we're just getting more and more Indian cities here. We 
don't want to have them like lazing about. Like Belly actually looks pretty good. There's not too much uh, that is getting stuck in that airport. Once they arrive at the end, they are getting distributed really well. But you can see that they are still a bit stressed under the pressure of all this. We kind of need other parts of the world to open up so that shift of, of sort of new new cities goes elsewhere in the in the world. Not sure where that city would be. Uh, even though Mumbai is going north, I'm gonna send June south. No real good reason. Hyderabad moving a bit quicker too. Calcutta doesn't have a fully maxed plane, so we'll give that to them if they're the ones that are struggling a little bit. still just plenty that is just getting pushed along here. Now I will just up some of these littler planes here just in case they're causing any of the, the issues with Tehran. Ah, oh, I hate doing that. There are still two planes on here, it's just that the so many guys coming through. I mean I feel like I can upgrade the airport but that's that's more just like a symptom of the problem. Wait for that guy to get some lead on him. That'll help him out a bit. I mean, at the moment you can see that the planes are. Um, I think Prague's got a. Yeah, good. Prague's a dead end. Um, you can see that all the planes heading back this way are green, and and all the ones coming this way are red. So I mean, the the traffic is all currently going one way. Yeah. That's still climbing, or are we finally on top of it with that, that extra service? I think it's going down a little bit. Slowly. Very slowly. If at all. Thing I thought was interesting that um, that I got told when I was in India is that there's so many different languages in India. Um, I mean, there is this. Uh, what's the one that you hear most? Uh, Hindi, which I think is what this sort of area, Hindi. But um, I could be completely wrong about that. Um, but there's there's so many different languages in there that actually the um, with the sort of With Britain making a colony, it actually meant that sort of the the international or the the language, the national language of, of India is, is English. That that sort of if you want to communicate with people who speak other languages within India, it's the best chance that everyone in that conversation is going to have at least some grasp on English. That was a funny, funny thing that, that that's the the common common theme. All right, so that that sort of wait of twenty minutes there has given us a, a fair chunk of money. Let's see what we can get here. The Ivory Coast is located down here somewhere. Where is my Ivory Coast? There we are. Yep. Alright, so I can go into Bamako. Give them a fully-fledged jet. Uh, Yemen is down this way. Now this is a tricky one. Oh, I suppose Yemen can go through the Sudan for now. I do want to... want to put someone in here. I think that possibly Yemen will still be closer to the Sudan than it would be through UAE. Cuba. 
Uh, who are they going to be close to? Who think? Mexico or Houston? What we might do... Go both. Uh, because we'll let all the, the island nations behind Cuba connect to that. Still getting plenty of Indian cities at this point. Now New Delhi's starting to take a hit here. What's what's going on there? Karachi. Alright, well let's do we need to give Karachi a second airport or is that gonna slow down? Second airplane rather. That looks like that might be okay. Now that is uh we need to be aware because that is saying that we can't get any more people into into Tehran. So let's just watch this airplane. Oops, sorry, I can't do any other upgrades rather. So let's just make sure that that airway is, is upgraded. This is where we could have a disaster because there's no sort of easy get out of jail free on Tehran. all of them going. We'll just wait for this guy to have a bit more of a gap on him. Go. Now the problem is going to be the other end of this is that Delhi is now going to receive more planes than what it previously was. So these guys need to actually be operating with some efficiency. You can see Mumbai is, is our busy one now. But luckily it's it's sort of all, I guess, staying in, in the country because for the most part you can see that there's not a lot of people heading back out when they arrive. So we're not putting pressure on Tehran heading out of India. It's all just coming in. All right, talk to me, Mumbai. Let's just wait for this other guy to... Since Mumbai is our other little connecting city down the bottom, we will let that have a second plane. Only fair. So, I mean, you can see all these um, domestic flights. Not, not any of them are really showing as yellow, so they're not really shifting too much in the way of, of stuff out, at least nowhere near as much as what they're pulling out, because you can see the amount of um, planes that are red as they're leaving. And so upgrading these guys to be jets is, is just sort of more about the efficiency of cleaning out New Delhi. See, this one's even just in the south. That it's just Chennai basically needs to get with that. Calcutta and Karachi is still... I mean, that's all still pretty much coming through this way. The problem is our next one's Nepal, so we're possibly going to add a little bit more under this. Might have to keep an eye on that. I reckon if that keeps going up, what we'll have to do is just add, say, a flight direct from... Um, to run to Chennai. It's not the one I want. It's the guy next to him. Finally get on him. In. India is not slowing down here. Rome is almost full. Okay, talk to me, Rome. What are you struggling with? I guess you're all about heading north, uh, which is your problem. Should be this this route to Paris. Not with Rome. all up him to try and clear out a bit of that because that's all who is it Rome 
Oh, that's confusing when it's you already looked at the city, it won't focus you on that city. Istanbul has also got a fair bit. All sorts of stuff going through Rome at the moment. Marco's now feeling the pinch a little bit. So is this guy. And it's all about shifting it north. Certainly do need to be investing into more planes at this point. But I mean, you can see that these guys are... This guy's red going up. So let's um, give them a second plane. So it's actually moving stuff out of the, like, south. That's currently its biggest problem. I assume it's heading through Rome. So it'd be Rome to Ankara, Ross. Let's get Nepal going. Got the money, so let's start to... Get more going. Let's go over to Houston. At its situation. Okay. So, Houston, what's your grief? Mexico City. Okay, so there's a lot of people that have just suddenly decided they need to go to Mexico. Let's just wait till that's as far away from it as possible. And speed that guy up. Rome, still buckling here. Now it's all about heading over here. So let's just slow things down for a second. And what we'll do is we're just going to make a skip route. So we'll go from Delhi straight to Rome. And we've got to find that route. Rome. One. Wait till he sort of has made it to, I guess, Iran. Go two. Wait for him to get to about here. I want to upgrade all my first level ones for $125. Sure, let's break the bank. Three. Not going to mess around with this route. We'll get this. Now, the problem is potentially there's more people that are just going to sit in Rome. Trying to go this route, but it's it's more if um we can divide out the Indian passengers to say the, the um, Iranian and Turkish ones that aren't going to make this journey. And where's my tiny little plane? There you are. You can see all those red planes now coming across from Rome. So hopefully that'll divide it a little bit. I mean, my concern is that now that if Rome's going to decide that that's the way that people should get to India, then possibly Rome's going to have people sitting in it for longer because it's a longer route than just what was going to Ankara. That being said, there's only two planes to Ankara and there's five to the New Delhi. So hopefully we are we're a bit better off. Menestan. Way to tie around there. Togo. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Go this way as well. And I think possibly what I should be doing is having this have a connection further north. That would be all the way to Libya. Or India. All right, well, I reckon we can uh, call it for, for this session there. A lovely shot of India as we finish. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. But until next time, I'll uh, catch you later. See ya.